On this video, I want to show you how you can export over 2,500 results. For example, for this search, I have 8,000 results. Because what Sales Navigator does is that it limits you to see only 2,500 results per search. Let me show you an example. If I click here on Select All, I can see only 25 leads per page. And in total, there are only 100 pages. So if I go until the end, I'm only going to reach the 100th page. So 100 by 25, that's 2,500. Regardless of the amount of leads that you found here, you can never see more than 2,500 leads on Sales Navigator. So that creates a problem. How can I export all these leads that I'm searching for that I would like to get in touch with? A simple trick to do that. Here I have an example search for which I searched CTOs in the UK. So it gave me 8,000 results. The way you can separate this, and I highly advise you to not do it by company headcount, because sometimes you have people who have companies that do not appear on Sales Navigator. For example, they don't have a page, they're still very recent, they don't have a website, and so on. So I suggest you to do it instead by the amount of years they are in their current company. So if I select here, and I select less than a year, it's going to show me 629 results. What I recommend you to do is to add up the amount up to 2,500. I would suggest to do a little bit below just to be sure that you can get all the leads. So here, for instance, you can select either one by one, or I can select those two and then export. Uh, I can then select the other ones here. It's showing me 1.5K results and I can export that search and go on for all the rest. Now you're gonna ask me, okay, I've got all these results, but how can I actually export all of them without manually copy pasting into a CSV file with all the names, company names, locations, and even get their professional email? The way I do it currently, and you see I have a button here that says export leads. This is an extension that I'm using. It's called Scalist. So if you go on scalist.com, uh, it's basically the number one LinkedIn sales navigator extractor. What it does, it's going to extract up to 2,500 results because that's what Sales Navigator is limiting. And it's also going to search for your lead's professional email address. And once it finds it, it's going to verify it. So it's going to tell you whether the email is valid. That means you can actually use it. Or it's going to tell you if it's risky, meaning we found it, but we cannot really tell you if the email is usable or not. In any case, you are only charged email credits for valid emails. Risky emails are always free. So you can create an account. Uh, this is a trial for free, therefore which you can export up to 300 leads with 20 email credits. Make sure to install the Chrome extension, as I've done it here. And this is going to help you get the extension button, as I have here. I've already made an example, so just to show you here. If I go into my overview, I can see that I have a big amount of uh, exports that I've done, up to 9,000 leads that I've already exported. But I want to make sure I only export the leads that I have searched for recently, because you may want to do different searches. What you can do is go to the button, you can create a folder, call it whatever you want, test folder 2, for example, because I've already made an example to show you, and you can select any list that you want and add it to the folder that you want. So once you click on, on it, it's going to just be added on the list. Okay, this is just one folder as an example, but I've already created one just to show you all of it. Here, on this test folder here, I have over 4,000 results. It also returned 1,408 valid emails, so in total about 2,100 emails, and it told me that out of them, 737 are risky. So I'll still get them, but I cannot say whether they're usable or not. And for sure, these ones are usable. These are the only ones that consume credits. What you can do now is after you've added all the lists that you want onto your folder, you can actually export the CSV. Simple as that. And once you've exported the CSV, it's going to download all of the leads that you want, and you can open that. You can also export it as an Excel and use it as you please. I've already done an example and uploaded to my drive just to show you how a file looks like. So once you've downloaded it, you can open it on your drive folder and it's going to give you the LinkedIn profile URL, the sales navigator profile URL, of course, first name, last name, the job title, company, industry, the company size as well, the location, so based on city as well as uh, country. And it's also going to show you whether the account is LinkedIn premium or not, gives you the website, the email, and the status of that email. Easy go, super easy to do, took only a few minutes and a few clicks, and I got all my leads as I wanted. Enjoy!